all the way up. Busted inside, inside the flex. Busted. Meow. Gotta connect. Exhaust pieces. I get all kinds of stuff hanging around. Forty two today. Like a spring day. Like a summer day compared to what it's been. Snowmobiles getting their last ride in. Iced coffee. Dogs. Dogs don't like snowmobiles. I got some nice sewer pipe here. Got pieces everywhere. Woo! Problem is, well, it's not really a problem, so it's going to be an easy. Not too bad, but we got like two and a half on that side, but she got the big old boy. It's like three and a quarter, three and a half. Crazy. So I'm thinking this pipe slides right over the back, the smaller side. If I can just get an adapter. I could fill the gap with weld, but that could be nice and try to be neat and get an adapter to go from that to the big pipe. And uh, everything will be all set. Not as loud as I thought, which is just no exhaust like that. Of course, it's got the front cats, but on these, uh, it's a 2010. The cats on these don't have as much stuff in them as the the early 2000s Silverados and stuff Sierras oh, snowmobiles but once we get that together the next culprit will be that big old muffler might have to just do a little delete of course down the road I'd like to do a cat back uh, dual tailpipe exhaust on this so you can have the twice but it's like uh, right around 300 bucks for the one I want 
but this pesky pesky flex piece has been uh, been haunting me. So delete that. Get a couple dollars for the little kitty there, and uh, be a nice day. Hopefully. Go easy on me. I'm welding on my back here. But I got an adapter that sort of fit in that front pipe a little tighter. And then I just jammed it in my piece of two and a half inch. Welded that. Fit in there pretty tight. It was a, you know, a little bit of a gap where the pipe kind of belled out. But filled it in best I could. And then that pipe actually slid on the intermediate pipe and uh, you could see it had like a little bit of a bend to it so I had had that flex but I sort of used that adapter and I turned it where I needed to and tacked it and worked it around. And it was a little bit of a gap in that one. But we filled her in. So we'll see how that sounds. Quiet, but a lot nicer than having that all leaky up there. Day's over. <clears throat> Couple little dirty things on there, grilling up. Some refreshing Bud Light Lime. Yeah. Call me what you want. It is refreshing. Didn't have it in me to uh, chop the muffler off today. Got late in the day. And uh, we're all hooked up. Chevy Equinox. Pick up tomorrow. Tomorrow morning in the snow. Gonna snow again. Whoa. all smoky had to weld on a new piece put a new little hook for my chain snowmobilers are home got dark they're drinking their bud lights lots of bud light go around we're all hooked up. Wake up. Pick up our Chevy Equinox. Guy wanted the tires. But now he says, 
You know what? I'm gonna let the tires go. Let's hit the switch. Cause I like to party. Whoa. That little baby, huh? Flaming up there. Dirty little thing. Easy there, dirties. Oh, she better go over here now. Whoa, look at that. These lights light up the driveway better than anything else. Leave them up. Couple little sections went out. Let's see if we can see a little better what I was talking about. Had these uh, factory little tow hooks back here that I would hook my rear chain and hooked on to that one and broke it right off. Yep, ripped it right off. So. Strengthen it up. Put a plate of steel. A couple of those. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. That's it. Life's good. 42 degrees today. Little tease for spring. Decks melted. That's why I do that. That's why I keep it nice and shoveled and clean because on days like this, it's nice and clear. You can come out and have yourself a nice little time. Cheers to that. Trim the mustache a little too, a little too short. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> so there we are, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me know what you think about that exhaust. Uh, it's nice to have it quiet, and not leaking like it did from that flex plate, but. Thinking about chopping that muffler off. I know that. Don't know what I want to do. What I want to put in there. Piece of pipe. Cherry bomb. Flow master. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Look at these little... Look at those, huh? Wow. Cooking up nice there, those dirty little things. I'm going to give you a little life lesson. Whoa. What is that? We're racing. Studs, studded tires. Still got those studded on. If you just got some ground beef, you want to cook up a couple burgers, you know, you could uh, get out all the spices you got, throw them on there. It's gonna be good. I mean, yeah, I know, you know, it's gonna be good, but. Get yourself a package of Lipton Onion Soup Mix. And all you want to do is crack a couple eggs. Maybe if you're only doing a couple burgers, you only use one egg. But all you do is crack that in, 
and uh, empty a packet of that soup mix in there. And bam. You're going to have a nice time. You're going to have a beefy onion burger. Um, a little something different. Nice little flavor for you. So, go ahead and give that a try. These babies are almost ready for bed. They got their little blankets on. 